What up? How's it going? Oh, just doing a little exercise. <laughs> As Slash would say. Nice to see you. Welcome back. I'm Forrest. We're fretting around. This is Jive Side Music Instruction, YouTube Campus. Today we are talking about, 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 about the mind. The mind. mind. We're going to talk about some academics for you so that you can let your voice follow full. Right on, yeah. I know you want that for yourself, yes. Everybody wants to express themselves. Yeah, they do the thing. No matter how silly or stupid some might think it might be. So dig it. We're just going to talk about how to approach scales. Scales are the backbone to everything. Why? Because those are all the single notes played in a succession. Scales tell you what key you're in. Scales tell you what note options you have. Scales tell you what chords you're playing. Scales are your melody. Scales are everything. Everything. And they sound like a scary thing to a lot of people. That's why they stay down in cowboy chord territory. But, um, psh, come on, go up the neck a little bit. It's actually where all the fun is. So we're just going to talk about how to make different dance steps. Because you can walk a mile in my shoes. But you can't dance a step in my feet. Right on. As Funkadelic, so much, so much more eloquently put it. So we're gonna stick into E minor pentatonic, which is the ring that rules us all, and in its darkness binds us in rock and roll, something like that. But we talked about it in the last episode, uh, so we're going to elaborate it on this episode. So E minor pentatonic is a five-note scale, and the notes are. <laughs> Except in another octave. So by playing all six strings in each position, you're playing the scale twice. So let's just do a little recap. Root position. Ascending and descending. Third position, because it starts on the minor third. Now, everybody calls these things something different. But it's still the same notes, regardless of however you can organize it to access it. Fourth position. Fifth position. Now in every key, major or minor, these shapes are still in play still connect in the same way. And then as we add notes to the scales, because that's just a five note scale, as we add the second scale degree which is missing and the sixth scale degree, uh, you'll still see those shapes. They'll just have an extra note, an extra finger, an extra extra. So come with me. We're going to, uh, uh, we're going to take a field trip real quick. Uh, let me get my handheld camera. It's just right over. All right, we're going to go to the stairwell just to put this concept into our mind's eye in the best way we can. So come with me. All right. So let's see how many stairs do we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. All right, so this is our scale. I'm going to 
consider this first step, our tonic, our first note, okay? Second scale degree, third scale degree, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and octave. Right on? So we just went up the scale, now let's descend the scale. All right, so if we want to think in our major scale, you know we have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, as in solfege, and then backwards, Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Word. Now we can skip, we can skip our stairs. We can still get from point A to point B, which is tonic to octave, uh, without having to take every single little step along the way. For example, now I'm just going to use scale degrees. We're going to go one, three, two, four, three, five, four, six. Five, seven, six to octave. And going in reverse, descending, octave, six, step back to seven, five, six, four, five, three, four, two, three, one. And one final thing to think about is we're going to do a step, step, back, step, step, back. So we're going to take one, two, three, back, 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 two, three. Back, two, three. Same thing works going the other way. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Word, let's head back to the studio. I mean, El Apartmento. I mean, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, field trip, and let's put it into the fretboard. Rock and roll. So, follow the pictures. Remember fretboard paper, it's you read it uh, left to right, bottom to top. Bottom is low pitch, top is high pitch. Left, left is the uh, preceding note, right is the succeeding note. So, we are going to first do some skips, okay? We're gonna do it in each position. Uh, and then uh, we will do some, uh, another juggle of it, and then uh, off, off you go with your imaginations. So let's start in root position, and let's do skips. So instead of playing E, G, A, we're going to play E, A, G. <laughs> So you'll start to see a little pattern that it's open, open, fret, fret, open, open, fret, fret. We'll stop on the minor third. So let's go backwards. It's going to be fret, fret, open, open, fret, fret, open, open. Fret, fret, open, open, fret, fret, open, open. Remember, instead of playing, we're going to be doing skips. Forcing yourself to look at your scales in as many different ways as possible really makes you look at uh, the notes and it also helps the fretboard stay in one place. Now why do I say that? I think a lot of people suffer from 
uh, swirling fretboard syndrome when they're first starting. And it can still happen as you go on, but uh, everything <laughs> stays put. Which is funny, because the notes are right where you last left them. They're always right there. Uh, and this is just a way to really cement them in there. So let's do it in position three, shall we? Two, three, four. <laughs> Here we go now. For those of you more advanced, play each note twice. And we're going to resolve down to E every time because we're still in the key of E. Fourth position, go. develop some melodies of your own as you're just doing little exercises like this, right? position is here, right? I lost a little tuning, uh, tuning in here somewhere. And then so on and so forth. Now, let's go on to the next one. Now, you want to do that uh, in a lot of different ways. You can, you know... Give it a little bit of soul, right? And <laughs> just have some fun. Just have some fun. Be heard, damn it. Now let's look at this next one. Uh, and then we will call it a day in our brains. So this next one uh, is going, which I talked about in on our little field trip. We're going to do a uh, step, step back, step, step back, step, step back. So it's got kind of a waltz feel. Jimmy Page at the end of 
Good Times, Bad Times does this uh, descending in E minor. It goes a little something like this. Well, I know what it means to be alone. And Ace Fraley on Love Gun does this ascending. Cool. So let's look at the scale. We're going to start in E minor, pentatonic, root position, setting a little drum machine, and we're going to play step, step, back, step. Ooh, that's a little fast. Okay. I don't like that one so much. Let's pull a little. There we go. That was boom, boom, boom. Dipping our hip. We'll grab our stride. Let's get on that mother shit. One, two, three, and. Back, step, step, back, step, step, back. 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 Let's go backwards. Let's descend from the scale. Here we go. Back. 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 Step, step, back, 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 step, back, Good. Since I'm playing it with you, don't worry, just go ahead and look at your fretboard. Or go ahead and look at the, just look at your chart. Best to kind of get these memorized as soon as possible. Makes everything easier, I always say. Two. Here we go, and Back, 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 back. Remember to resolve. All right, let's play each note twice now on the fourth position. Go. Back, here we go, and... Now I know there's scales, but you know... Put a little, put a little feel to it. Position. One, two, three, and... Again, like I said with the body, this is really good stuff to do while you're taking in passive information, reading the, watching the news, watching Trailer Park Boys Season 13, which was fantastic. I believe it was 13. Backwards, here we go. Because ultimately you wanna you wanna develop muscle memory in a lot of different ways. Because playing an instrument or doing anything really in life is not about doing it by yourself. 
or only doing one activity that commands your attention at one time. Especially when you're playing music, you know what I'm saying? Because you gotta look around, you gotta communicate with other people, you gotta connect with your audience. So you wanna be able to be the here, there, and everywhere. You wanna move with it. Seventh position, go. Descending down. everything we just did. And we'll start with the one we just did. Step, step back, step, step back. One, two, starting octave. Here we go. Skips down and Up. You're doing awesome. Hang in there. Skips, here we go. And we'll just resolve D the there. Fifth position, here we go. And Down. Here we go. We're resolved. We're just gonna resolve up one, okay? I'm sorry I left that point out, but let's keep going on, moving strong. Fourth position. Now let's go skips up, steps down on the last two. Third position, here we go. Here we go. Half 
have fun with this, right? And try to try to string them together after you've gotten comfortable with it. For example. So I hope your mind is full, like Kelly Bundy, Red Butter Squeeze. Till next time, keep making noise, keep staying positive, pass on whatever the hell you think you know to someone who might know it better. Peace. Peace.